Hi everybody and welcome back. I'm going to show you how to make these uh, bowl holders. You can use these for ice cream or they are microwavable to put hot stuff in the microwave. You just put your bowl in, you can pull it out like this. They're 100% um, cotton fabric, 100% cotton batting, and 100% thread, cotton thread. And this is the large one um, that we're going to make right now. They're in three different sizes. Uh, this one is a 12 by 12, which is a good size serving bowl one. And this one is a 10 by 10. I didn't make a 15 by 15, but um, I'll leave the directions down below on all three of them on how to uh, make them and pleat them. So first of all, what you're going to do is you're going to get, uh, I have some of this already set up. We're going to make the... 10 by 10 right now you're going to take two pieces of this cotton batting and you're going to cut this 10 by 10 and then you're going to do the same thing with two pieces of fabric you're going to cut it 10 by 10 and then you're going to fold this in half like this and iron it and then you're going to open it up you're going to fold it in half again and iron it so when we get ready to sew um, there's going to be a, a crease going down this side here and then you're going to put it together like this and we're going to sew from this corner all the way down following our crease and then we're going to turn it and we're going to do the same thing on this side all the way down and following our crease and you can see where I have the crease in here on the back you can see where this one is already sold uh, ahead of time and I'm gonna do this one here with you and show you how it's done so you just put it in here at the tip what I do is my foot and I put uh, I have a little mark in the middle of my uh, pressure foot here and uh, I just use that as my guide and my crease and I just follow that I don't want to set my uh, scissors here Stay on that line of your crease and it'll end up right in the middle where it's supposed to be. I back stitch before I stop. And I pinned this too so that uh, you can, it will hold this in place more when we're sewing it. So now I'm going to go up here and I'm going to do this one and I'm going to stay on that crease that I made. That way I end up with like an X in my fabric. here. I got little scraps I didn't pick up off the table. So now I'm going to um, unpin this because we're not going to need the pins yet. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take this and we're going to fold this together and make sure our ends are even. Pin it. And pin it. And then what I like to do is take a pencil or I use my ruler and I slide it down in between the fabric here 
and then I just take it and I push it along here so that I know that my fabric is flat in here like that we want the fabric the fabric flat my finger right there and then now what we're going to do is going to make sure that the folded side is always on your right and for this bow we're going to come across one inch and we're going to mark it here and then we're going to come down two inches and we're going to mark it so we came across one inch and then we come down two inches and we marked it now we're going to take and we're going to connect those two together like that Then what you're going to do is you're going to take it, this is the end that we just did, and you're going to flip it up so that the, the folded side is always to your right. We're going to come across one inch and down two inch and connect it like we did the other one. So now that we have it marked on this side, and we flip it, we mark it on this side. Now we're going to sew this side here, and then we're going to flip it, and we're going to sew that side there. So we'll do this one. And then what I like to do as I get that side sewed, I just go ahead and I trim close to that line that I have but not to where you're going to cut your seam. I'm going to flip it and I'm going to do the same on this side. So now that we have that done, we're going to unpin it. We're going to open it up, we're going to put the sides together again here, and we're going to pin that so it'll be even. I'm going to grab that side, I'll cut my threads off there, and I'm going to line it up and pin it. I want to make sure that I'm putting a pen there too because I want this all to be even. And then I'm going to take my ruler again because I want to make sure my fabric's not bunched up. You can use a little um, skewer or whatever you have. I just got my ruler out so that's what I'm using. And I'm just making sure that my fabric is straight in there. Now we're going to do the same thing. We're going to come across one inch and down two and then we're going to connect and then we're going to flip it and we're going to come across one inch and down two and connect that and then we're going to sew that. So let me do that. If you can see, I got my sewing machine in the way here. Okay, so I'm coming across one inch, coming down two inches, and I'm connecting. And then I'm going to do the same thing that I did on the other side. I'm going to sew this. Find my foot pedal. And 
then I'm going to trim this one. I'm going to flip it. I'm going to do the same thing. And I'm going to trim it. I'm going to unpin it and I'm going to do the second piece the same way as we did the first one. So this is what our bow is looking like right now. So let me get this one together and do it. I've got a pin in there from earlier. give you a little tip if you buy off Amazon don't buy these pens from them they're garbage um, one inch across two inches down and connect the dots same thing you're gonna flip it one inch across Two inches down and connect the dots and then so Open it up. We're going to do like we did on the other one. We're going to open it. We're going to put our sides together. Make sure our fabric straight. We're going to do this one the same way. One inch across, two inches down. And the only difference on the bigger bowls is it's always an inch across, but the measurement down changes. And also, like the size of the fabric changes and what you're going to make. But the markings are pretty much the same beside uh, on the top going across. It's always one inch across, and it the size increases on the bigger balls going downwards. Flipping it. Now that we have our two sides together, what we're going to do is we're going to turn one of them wrong side out, and then this, this one will stay like the way we sold it. We're going to put these together like this, and we're going to pin it all the way around. We want to line it all up. I'm just making sure I'm matching up all the seams Okay 
side there. Okay, so now that we got all the seams matched up, what I want to do is I'm going to start just past this um, middle piece in the bow because I'm going to, when I go around and sew, I'm going to end right here because I want to leave this as an opening for. Uh, us to be able to turn it so I'm going to start here because I, I don't want to start past that I want to make sure this seam gets really sewn good so I'm just putting this on and I'm using about a half inch seam allowance I'm going back and forth I want that to stay on there really good and now I'm just going to go around um and try to zoom that in where you can Okay, so the batteries died and we're picking up where we left off. So what I did was I told you I started at the seam here on this side over here. And we're going to go around and we've got to make sure that you leave an opening. And I'm about a half inch um, seam allowance here. get to the corner I just pivot I have my needle in the down position so when I stop it stays in place and then I just pivot around you could back stitch over that one big seam if you want makes a difference we're going to sew on top. To the corner, picking it up, and I'm pivoting. I like to back stitch a little bit on my corners. Watch so I don't sew my pole, my hole closed. I won't be able to turn it. Go to the end, so I'm back stitching really good. What I like to do is I like to go around and um, just trim it a little bit closer to the stitching so that it gets rid of some of the balk and I nip the corners off. That way it, it gets rid of a little, a little bit of that balk, but you got to be careful you don't cut your seam. This just makes it so it's not so balky. I like to trim it off all the time. Okay, so now we have it all sewed together, and what we're going to do is we're going to open up where our opening is, and we're going to go across 
to this far corner and I'm gonna pull this through you want to make sure you leave yourself a big enough opening that you can get all this through that hole and then I'm just gonna take my scissors or whatever you got you got to be careful to use scissors and I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna poke the corners out with them I'll move over to this corner I'll poke that out over this one and get that one poked out okay so now we got all of our corners poked out and this is our side that we have left open so what we're going to do is you can press this too I'm um, going to fold that in like that and then we're going to sew around the whole outside of the bowl is what we're going to do it enough to where I can grab it back here and then kind of hold it in place. get to the part where you have already sold I just restitch over it a little bit and then back up again so that it locks it really good in place and now you have the perfect bow holder and this works really good for hot soups or warming up something or ice cream and it works really good and then this is what it looks like on the inside and the out so I hope that you like this and try it they're pretty easy and fast to make I'll put uh, the sizes down below the only difference is like I said it's always one inch um, across on the top of the fabric and a 15 inch is 3 inches down, a 12 inches is 2 and a half inches down, and then the 10 is 2 inches down. So I'll put that measurements down below, and thank you.